What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and I've uh, been getting a lot of questions as well. How I set up my iOS home screen and it's pretty simple. You just need a few things to actually start doing this. And the first one you'll actually need your wallpaper, the wallpaper you're gonna use to set as your background. You're gonna need some app icons as well. I don't remember where I get these from. And then you're gonna need an app from the app store called MD Blank. So as long as you have all those stuff ready, then you're good to go. So the first thing I actually do when I'm setting up my iPhone is create like, set my wallpaper. So I will just set this wallpaper here. So do like that, add, and then, set pair and basically that's it i like the blower as well behind it so yeah after i set my wallpaper i will then like create some app icons so as long as you have your app icons on your device then you're good to go so in order to actually create these icons you're going to need to use shortcuts app which is built in on the phone itself so once you're in the shortcuts app you're going to press this plus icon there then you're going to choose open app so as long as you choose open app you're going to press the app where you see open here so you just choose the app you want so for instance i need instagram so after you choose the app you want to put on your home screen then you're going to press this little drop down icon there then you're going to press add to home screen and obviously you can name the app whatever you want but i just like to leave it blank and uh, you just select the picture there then you press choose photo and here you can see my instagram app you just press choose and you just press add to home screen and that's it so that's how you actually create icons on your home screen it's very simple to do so i'll just do one more to show you how it's done so you press shortcuts then you're gonna press this plus icon again then you're gonna press open app press the app there and you search for the app you want so i will do youtube for this one here then you press this drop down button there then you press choose icon sorry then you press add to home screen then you can name it whatever you want i'll just leave mine blank just press on that icon there choose photo then you're gonna choose youtube which is the youtube icon here then you press that then you press add to home screen and it's already on my home screen there as you can see so if i press the youtube icon there it bring me to youtube so that's basically all you create the icons on your home screen let me finish all these icons here then we get to creating the blank spaces on your desktop so let me just do that real quick All right, guys so after creating all those icons then you can go ahead and just remove all these other icons you have on your desktop here so i will just remove every other app so we'll just remove from home screen 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 remove from home screen, from home screen. and i will leave the instagram threads there because i just use that like that so yeah so basically this is my layout so far so once i've done all this then it's time to create those blank spaces on your desktop or your home screen so after you created all the icons and you set your wallpaper and everything so you're basically building your canvas from there so the next thing we're going to need which is the third option and is that app i told you about in the app store which is called md blank so to actually set the blank spaces on your home screen first you have to enter into jiggle mode so all you have to do is just hold on on any app here until you see it start to jiggle on your home screen so that's where you know you're actually doing the right thing so the next thing you're going to do is actually press that plus icon there then you're going to scroll all the way down until you see this blue icon here without any name i don't know for some reason why it don't show the name of the app inside the widget panel here all you have to do is just press one time on there so it all depends on what kind of size blank space you want to set so for me i'm actually going to set this medium widget here at the top so i'll just add widget and there you go so i'll add like three more so i'll add another one scroll all the way down and then you can add like a medium one as well i'll add another medium one another small one sorry so that's basically how i want to get mines so i'll have these icons down here so around here so this is basically what i do so i'll move the medium widget at the top and i'll have all these other widgets here so this is my actual layout so to actually 
change this to make you not see this square boxes here from the widget all right we have done a lot so far on our home screen here and we don't want to see these boxes here so how to fix that all you have to do is just press and hold then you're going to see edit widget so you just want to press edit widget then you want to set it as how it's on the home screen so for this widget i think it's on the in the mid and you press left boom there you go you don't see it anymore so you just do the same for the rest of them so you're gonna just press and hold edit widget and this is think it's on the right as you can see there so for the top one you want to press edit widget mid you just change it from mid to top there you go so for this one as well sorry edit widget then you want to press this is on the left bottom left so that's basically all i do to get my screen looking like this and yeah that's basically it so this is how i rock my home screen so for all those who have been asking how i get my home screen to look like this this is basically how i do it i will leave links down below for all these icons and the wallpapers if you want to check them out i think most of them are paid as well so you have to like purchase them so yeah that's basically how i get my home screen to look like this it's very simple and minimal i just like using this layout for my home screen hope you have enjoyed this one and if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe down below and leave a like on this video as well if it was helpful and i will definitely catch you guys in my next video peace